William Shatner started a foundation to help struggling women after the tragic death of his wife, and a detail from her autopsy makes the reason clear. Here's what we know. William Shatner has been married four times, and three of those marriages ended in divorce. He most recently split with horse trainer Elizabeth Martin in 2020, The Sun reported. His shortest marriage ended in 1999, when William found his third wife, Noreen Shatner, drowned in the pool at the home the couple shared in Studio City, California. According to Biography, Noreen was only 40 years old when she died. The couple had married in 1997. William revealed in his 2018 memoir, Live Long and What I Learned Along the Way, that finding his wife's body in the pool was one of the worst moments of his life, writing, I was twisted in grief. I was completely lost. William also paid tribute to his late wife on the song, What Have You Done?, from his 2004 album, Has Been. Of that recording, he has told the Irish Times, I couldn't get through it. It took me several tries. Noreen had been a successful model and commercial actress in Europe and in New York before she met William, the Los Angeles Times reported. The paper also explained that foul play was ruled out in Noreen's drowning death. It's believed she dove into the pool and hit her head. William was questioned by police, but was never a suspect. My wife died. I wasn't there. I come home and, and there she is. Police come, declare it an accident within the hour. People reported that Noreen Shatner's official cause of death, as listed on her autopsy report, was drowning associated with neck trauma. Noreen's broken neck likely happened when she dove into the pool. When William found her body, she wasn't wearing any clothes. There were also bruises on her face and neck. Los Angeles police detective Mike Coffey explained to the LA Times, the totality of the whole investigation indicates an accident. Drinking was definitely a problem for her. Everyone knew she was an alcoholic. She just couldn't beat her problem. Noreen indeed had high levels of alcohol in her system at the time of her death. People noted that her post-mortem report revealed her blood alcohol level was more than three times California's legal driving limit, at 0.28%. Noreen also had sleeping pills in her system, based on 1999 reporting from Los Angeles Times. Sources specified it was the sedative Valium. William Shatner later opened up about his late wife's addiction to alcohol, admitting he was well aware of his wife's substance use issues when she died. He wrote in his 2018 memoir that he fought to help her with her alcoholism. The actor told the National Enquirer, Noreen would hide bottles of alcohol all around the house where I couldn't find them. William also revealed that Noreen's addiction to alcohol was almost too much for their marriage to overcome. He had filed for divorce in an effort to motivate Noreen to seek treatment and even refused to have a child with her. He told the Enquirer, Noreen begged for us to have a baby. I told her we could not until she proved she could stay sober for six months. I mean, we did everything, everything and none of it worked. In his 2018 memoir, William wrote more about her death. This was the type of pain that makes you think either I'm simply going to die or I'm going to kill myself. The intensity was so strong that for a time, I told myself that rather than living with that pain, it is much better to feel nothing. Soon after her death, William established the Noreen Shatner Foundation to help other women work through alcoholism. The actor told the Irish Times in 2021, women come up to me and say, you saved my life but not me. It was Noreen. She did that. If you or anyone you know is struggling with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357.